Hey everyone, this is Andy with Low Lead Virtual. Uh, the question's come up a couple times now. What's the difference between the new Indy Mark lens encoder and the Glass Mark lens encoder? Well, at the end of the day, they do the same thing, but there's a few differences between them. Over the months of selling the Glass Mark 1, we learned a bunch. We learned about what people expect out of their equipment and different use cases and things like that. And so we started developing a higher end lens encoder to address more professional markets. But in doing that, we realized that we could fold a lot of those changes back into a different, uh, different cheaper lens encoder, and that is what the IndyMark became. So it is better in pretty much every way than the Glossmark 1, uh, but it comes in at the same price, which is really nice. So uh, as comparison, first of all, the gear mounting system is different. Uh, the IndyMark has a gear mounting system that's a little bit easier, a little bit more durable than the Glossmark 1 uh, was, but the gear diameters are identical which means that your lens map files are compatible with either lens encoder. Additionally, the IndyMark is about 15% smaller, uh, thinner rather than the Glossmark, which means that you can actually uh, fit more of them on a lens. This is sometimes an issue on like tight lenses like ENG lenses. Uh, it's difficult to get multiple lens encoders in sometimes, so that should help. The rod mount uh, system is different, and the new one actually allows us to put a quarter 20 thread in there. So anyone who's mounting them either not on a camera, so for example, if you wanted to encode a slider or a jib or something, you could mount it with a quarter 20. Or if, you, again, you have like a tight camera rig that's difficult to get access to the lens, you can just mount it with like a Noga arm on a quarter 20. Um, the uh, internals are all entirely different between both of them. So the IndyMark is actually, uh, it's a special processor that uses kind of an onboard PLD, which is like a little FPGA basically. It allows us to do the processing a lot quicker and a lot more parallelism, which means that we're able to reduce the end-to-end -end latency. Um, there is no more wireless. That's the other big difference. Um, the Glass Mark 1 had a wireless interface, and eventually we introduced uh, wired through USB serial. The IndyMark is only USB, and it's through USB HID. Um, the IndyMark is pulled through that USB link at about 1,000 hertz, um, and the uh, Glass Mark is it's a variable refresh rate through serial. The glass mark hits about 400 hertz, so a little over double the um, the polling rate on the Indy Mark. Um, but aside from that, again, the lens map files are compatible between them. The resolution is the same between them. Um, it's just that it's been redesigned to make life a little bit easier for you. Um, the software is the same. Lonet has been updated to be able to uh, work with the Indy Mark, and in fact, you can use them both simultaneously if you want as well. That's no problem. But yeah, um, so I hope that clarifies uh, some of the confusion that may have uh, arisen from the IndyMark introduction.